Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about the SQL having clause. Now briefly, SQL having clause is often used with group by clause to filter groups based on specific conditions. Now why do we need having clause when we have the where clause already? The reason is because where clause cannot be used with the aggregate functions. Now when we say aggregate functions, we have already understood in the previous tutorial. Say for example, you want to count the number of occurrences into the table, right? So these are some of the aggregate functions. So basically min, max or counting the number of occurrences is the aggregate function. You are aggregating the data within the table. So with the aggregate function, if I want to use or I want to filter the data based on the aggregate outcome or the condition, that's where I'll be needing the having clause. So for example, here is the query. So selecting the country, so I'm selecting the country column and then counting how many occurrences are there for the particular country, right? So count is the aggregate function and then I'm counting the country column, right? So that I get the actual count of the occurrences which are of the same kind as a count from the customer. So this is the table and then I'm grouping by the country. So basically if say for example, there are 10 occurrences of the country India, then I'm just creating one group of that country India and counting how many occurrences of that country were. So it will display the count of that country, which is India and 10. And then with the having clause, I can simply filter the occurrences based on the count, right? So with the having clause here, because we can't use the where clause, so I have to use having clause and I can say where or basically having the count of the countries greater than or equal to two, right? So any country which has occur appeared twice or equal to two or more than twice in a table that will be displayed by this particular query. Now let's see it in action so that it will be more clear. Okay. So here, say for example, I just want to select all the values, right, from the customer table, right? So I'll simply say select star from customer where star is the key wildcard, which will, which means all right. Now, here we see that there are there is a country column, right? And there are multiple countries. So UK is appearing a couple of times, USA is appearing a couple of times, right? So if say, for example, I want to basically filter the occurrences of the country based on certain conditions, that's where I'll be using the having clause, right? So say, for example, I simply want to display the country, right? So I want to display the country name so I'll say select country and then I want to count how many times a particular country has appeared. So I can use the aggregate function count and specify which column I have to count. So I can either say star, which means it will basically count all of it, but uh, all of the rows, but then I can simply specify count the country, right? So count uh, aggregate function will basically f f uh, focus here on the country column and count all the countries. And then, so basically it will create a column for a country where it will name and it will display the count from which table? The table name is customer. Now, the next thing is we basically want to group the countries based on the number of occurrences, right? So we will use the group by, right? So group by clause, okay? And then I'll say group by what? Group by the country, okay? So if I run this now, what will happen is it will basically select the country which is there. All right. So in the country column, whatever countries are there, and then it will display the count of that particular occurrences in the next column, right? So we have also understood we can specify the LES name for this column, but as of now, just let us keep it like that. So this is the header that, that will be displayed. So you will see in the left hand side, all the countries are displayed, whatever countries are there. And then the count of the country is displayed. Now, if I want to say that display only the countries which have appeared two or more than two times. Okay. So here I want to filter anything, any country which has just appeared once, then the common thought is why can't we use where, right? So where I'll say, uh, the count of the country, right? So I'll say count of the country. Let me move it to the next line is greater than or equal to two. That's what we want to search. But then you will see that there is an error here where is not a valid at this position. Okay. 
so that's where having was introduced so we need to basically use having instead of where if you want to filter the aggregate result right so now because count of the country is the aggregate result of the country occurrences that are there in this table and i want to see how many countries have appeared two or more than two times in this particular table then i'll say having count of the countries greater than or equal to two and if i run this now you will see the outcome is different it is basically filtered out any country which is which has appeared in the table less than twice okay so this is basically what the relevance of having clause is okay so if we go to the example here so you'll see exactly same thing we have done in the table so we are selecting the count of the country and then grouping by the country and then filtering out the country count which is greater than or equal to two now here you can basically uh, just say greater than two right so you can use any of those conditions to basically filter out so in this case only two countries will be filtered out us and uk because they are appearing more than twice okay so this is the relevance of having clause and where you will be using having clause okay basically it is useful when you are using the aggregate function because with aggregate functions you cannot use the where clause to filter the results based on certain condition so that's all for this tutorial on having clause i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching